Morning, Dr. Jackson. Good morning. How are you going? Yeah, it's going well. How about you? Yeah, pretty good. Um, I've got a video. I can put that on, but I'm going to be sharing the screen soon anyway. But okay, I just uh, promoted you to presenter, and uh, we've got uh, so far 17, uh, 17 students on board. Excellent. That sounds good. Um, so Rainer Hubbardberger will also be co-presenting. Yeah. So when he joins in, hopefully soon. Um, yeah, you can put him as. Can we both be presenters? Because what I'll do is I'll be sharing my screen, but Rainer will be talking over top of it anyway. So maybe I'll just stay as presenter. I'll uh, I'll make uh, Rainer co-host as well. Excellent. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Good, Rainer. Good morning, Rainer. Good morning. Hi, Chris Nolan from Oztrek. How are you? Hi, Chris. Good. I'm fine. Very good. Uh, I will. I will. Um, I will uh, get right into it if that's okay. And and I'll actually. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it to the two of you to formally introduce yourselves. And uh, I just wanted to lay some ground rules for everyone on the call uh, before we get into it. Just that we need to respect the fifteen minute uh, time frame, and uh, there'll be opportunity for questions towards the end of the presentation. And if we don't get all your questions answered, uh, there will be. Uh, several representatives from uh, Flinders University uh, at their booth at Career Echo and similarly with Oztrek personnel as well. Uh, so without uh, further ado, uh, Dr. Jackson, I'll hand it over to yourself and I will exit stage left. Thank you, Chris. Um, well, welcome everybody. I'll quickly share the screen and introduce ourselves as we go through. So my name's Michael. Um, I'm an academic at the, uh, the college in the discipline of immunology and microbiology. And I teach into the undergraduate and graduate uh, programs of the MD. So undergraduate um, topics in the various degrees and also the MD. Um, and we have also Rainer who will introduce himself as well, Rainer. Yes, hello, my name is Rainer. Um, I am uh, organizing most of uh, the parts of year one, the second part of year one, and I'm responsible for the anatomy teaching as well as organization and teaching of histology and pathology in the MD course. Excellent, thanks Rainer. And um, what we're trying to do today really is give um, you guys as attendees a little glimpse really of typical weeks uh, at the MD, at Flinders, um, in your studies. And obviously we, um, in the degree program, we use a, a, a range of modalities to deliver the course, including online platforms, uh, resources that we have a separate dedicated um, uh, website for, for students to access resources. Um, we use lectures, lectorials, tutorials, and practicals. So really just to give you an idea of what a typical um, week would look like, I'll, I'll show you a typical week in immunology, for example, and Raina will show you a typical week um, in his area of anatomy. And uh, just to give you an idea, really, of the type of things that a student would be doing um, while they're studying the MD, particularly with a focus on the first year. So, so just to really give you a little bit of background, if you haven't seen the presentations, perhaps, that we've given um, for Flinders previously. So... I know we've, we've got time issues here, but we'll just basically go through the, the course. Um, so the MD is bracketed up obviously over four years and we have these major areas of study or themes across the course. The one that we'll concentrate on today is the knowledge of health and illness. That's really a, a very large body of, of knowledge that students have to gain over the first two years. Um, Around the basics of, of um, health, you know, the physiology, the, the, the anatomy of the body systems, how they work when things are in a state of health, um, and also how they work perhaps or, or go wrong in pathophysiology as well. So, so knowing how the body works, the various organ systems, the cells, the tissues, the proteins, um, how organs work together to deliver function in the body, um, is really, really important basis for, for your understanding of medicine. So it does form a, a significant block of, of students' time as they're getting this, this knowledge base uh, integrated into their minds and an understanding of the human body um, and the problems with uh, disease states in that body. 
the other bits and pieces um, we'll, we'll talk to in the other presentations. Um, but we'll be focusing on this little snippet really in on year one. So we'll go quickly to the basic layout of, of year one in the MD. You'll see two semesters, of course, and you'll see across here various things. We have programmatic assessment um, and of learning across the, the actual year. We have doctor and patient. If we come down here to um, the knowledge of health and illness unit, you'll see this is really separated into blocks. And the first block up is human homeostasis, followed by the block that I'm involved in, which is immunity, uh, defense and microbes, and then followed by Rainer's blocks here in uh, the cardiovascular system. So what we'll do today is really just home in on a typical period of, you know, a week really in the study of a couple of these areas, um, really focusing on my area, for example, and then Raina can focus on this. And we'll leave a few minutes at the end, hopefully for questions, um, but obviously we've, we'll get going. Just as a general outline, this, this knowledge of health and illness is really the foundation stone uh, for students really understanding the, the normal functioning of the body, uh, the systems that the body you know, incorporates. Um, and then heading into my area here during the, the first part, semester one, um, really looking at, in, in the second block, this information, immune function and microbiology or protection from microbes. Um, so that's the part that I'm involved in. Obviously, we're in a, a world where um, COVID is running around and we're currently developing vaccines and administering them um, to help the immune system fight that pathological uh, entity, this, that, that microbe. Um, that's really, you know, things like immunology and microbiology are, are really fundamental to understanding of how we protect ourselves from, from pathogenic entities such as viruses and bacteria. So I deliver um, you know, a couple of weeks in, in the immune block um, with immune function being a paramount aspect of it. So, so understanding how the immune system um, you know, gets activated, what it is in the first place, um, how it responds to pathogens, um, how we modify our immune response to allow us to get protection long-term against um, the things that we're gonna be challenged with um, is part of the, my challenge um, to, to impart to the students. So this is a typical week here for example, you'll see here you, in this particular week, um, there wasn't much going on on Monday, but by Tuesday here you can see things like lectures coming in. I give a lecture on, on the Tuesday, for example, you can see that students have also been doing their clinical skills broken into two groups. Um, on Wednesday, more lectures from me, for example, and then we're bringing in things like lab testing and immunopathology. Um, by Thursday, we've got the the actual workshop. So here we do a more expanded version of the understanding. So students will be trying to incorporate their knowledge here in a uh, sort of a team-based learning environment. We have a case, for example, that we extrapolate and try and get students to bring their knowledge and new learning to that case. Um, they then go and do an, a practical around sort of gross and histological aspects of the immune system on the Thursday afternoon. So that's a sort of typical week um, lots of different things, uh, lectures, you know, workshops, uh, practicals, all intermingled um, for a student. Some of the activities that we did, for example, um, you know, I would be highlighting to the students the, the series of lectures and the workshops. Um, Collaborate is a tool that we use. For example, if we we're running a workshop or a lecture on using Collaborate, I would be delivering that lecture. The students will be linked in in the digital environment, we can have those students break out into breakout rooms individually in groups of about eight um, for conversations, discussions, and, and working on problems in that workshop. Um, and that's really how we use the online sort of environment for students to interact with each other and with us as, as lecturers. We then come back to the main group and people can share their, their sort of chalkboards and what they've been writing down and, and discussing um, with the wider groups and we come to an understanding as a whole as well. So during the anatomy, um, again, we had a practical we delivered in an online environment last year and we'll probably do again this year, um, using both self-directed and resources and sharing with students sort of images and they get to 
um, label those images, we then come back and see how well they did, for example, all as a group and within the, the collaborate type environment. Um, now, Raina, you have a sort of a typical week in the, in the second half of the year and semester two. Yes, thank you, Michael. Um, so now we assume, yeah, you started at Flinders, you passed the first semester, you calibrate a little bit and adjusted your expectations, you know how the learning environment works. And I just want to go quickly through what we actually offer and what we expect you, um, how you want to participate uh, in teaching at Flinders. So it's a four week block handling the cardiovascular system. Usually you will find one topic per week. One week, for example, will be with the system as a topic and as an illness, it will be hypertension. You will see and you will know Hi, Daniel. Thank you very much for still here in this room. Um, what I'm going to do is before we finish up with. Go for it, Raina. Sorry. The entry requirement for you guys to uh, for the application process. Right now, is that better? I can hear you. Uh, I can see it. Yes, nice. Oh, good. Yep. So you carry so on. Yeah, no, so carry on. I don't know what was going yeah, on there. I carry on. Good. So what you will what you will find are uh, topics of one week: vascular system, hypertension. You will know what we expect you to get out of that week. It is manifested in learning objectives. And you will find a summary what happens in that week. So one week at a glance, how do we do that? We can do that in collaborate lectures, which are online, but similar to this environment now, you can actually participate and uh, in real time ask and communicate. I'm sorry, Ryan, I don't know where that's coming from. I'm just carrying on. Okay, so it doesn't, um, we will have collaborate lectures, we have online lectures, online external support. So Flinders is really good in a remote uh, delivery because we teach across uh, Australia at the center. And um, so we have um, connections to Darwin, which is three and a half thousand kilometers away. So all the IT is set up and we can really cope with any demand in that area. Of course, you will have also face-to-face -face practicals in, uh, in practical sessions, and we have drop-in sessions, which will, we will try to manifest and clarify anything that was unclear um, during the week. And at the end of the week, um, we summarize everything in so-called TBL sessions. If you go to the next slide, Michael. Thank you. This would be a week um, uh, as we have it. You will start um, the Monday usually with a lot of lectures. Online lectures are available over the weekend. Usually students already access those before. You will have doctor and patient content where you learn at the same topics. So uh, cardiovascular system, how to take a history, how to examine patients. Um, at the same time, we start with a dissection which will dissect the heart and lungs. So you will get an aligned uh, presentation of everything that's related to heart and lung function. In addition to the classical knowledge of health and illness parts, we um, offer at the same time because heart and lung are obviously important for life, uh, sections that deal with the basic life support um, on a Wednesday. Thursdays is occupied by practicals and the so-called drop-in session where students can ask um, about the topics of the week, things that were unclear can be um, clarified and explained. And the Friday morning will, will consist of group learning. We provide space for the students to catch up to learning groups because we think that's a very, um, very important part that you communicate and learn to explain because then you know things. And on a Friday afternoon, we test you if you 
uh, know things um, if our expectations and your learning style are aligned in a so-called readiness assurance test, a formative assessment. And after this test, you do it first by yourself, then as a group, we clarify remaining um, questions, and then a clinician will put everything into a clinical context. So you get everything, the basics, plus why is it important to know in a clinical context in one week, and at the end of one typical week in semester two. Back to you, Michael. Excellent. Thank you very much, um, Rainer. So hopefully, I know we've, this is only a quarter of an hour session. So if you have any questions, come back to the Flinders room in, in the fair. So that the main room for Flinders there, and we can answer your questions there. Does anyone have any question that they, they want to ask now that we're, we're still got a minute or two? No, well, certainly, um, so we'll have an opportunity to, to answer um, any questions back in the main room, but we'll also have another presentation. I think Raina will be giving it on, on the general medical program um, in about a quarter of an hour as well. So, so feel free to come back to the Flinders um, main room at the, at the fair and we'll, yeah, we can, we can answer any questions there. So Chris, did, are we sort of on time? Yeah, no, perfect. Thank you very much. Do you want to add, there's one question from uh, Liam. Uh, Dr. Jackson, if you'd like to answer, can international students complete uh, core and or elective rotations in Canada and the US? And if so, how many weeks would that be? Uh, yeah, so fourth year and of, of the course, they're not um, mine or Raina's uh, area particularly, but I do um, know that we have elective opportunities in the fourth year for students to undertake certain electives um, in their clinical rotations in offshore sites away from Australia, obviously in Canada is available for that. So we have had a number of Can Canadian students over the years successfully through the course and, and many of them have chosen to undertake their, their electives in fourth year in, in Canada. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, in light of time, I will, uh, I, I will thank you all for, uh, for your presentation and your overview of your program. I can tell you that our students uh, really enjoy your program and um, uh, for a whole variety of reasons, including the amount of student support that they get uh, from the moment uh, they arrive right through the program. So uh, with that, I will thank you again for making time out of your busy schedules to uh, get up bright and early um, to join us. So thank you, it was, it was excellent. Thank you, Chris, it's been a pleasure. Thanks. Okay, cheers.